Well, you know, it's time for summer projects and I have had this one project that I've been wanting to do because um, it seems like bar carts are really in these days and I personally would like to have one in my family room because it's stylish and it's a pretty way to display your drinks and also to make refreshments accessible to people when you're entertaining. So I am going to refurbish an old bar cart that I found. I've managed to paper the floor in the garage. I'm going to move my car because the wind is kind of blowing around and I don't want any spray paint on my car. And I actually have my canned spray paint and I have my mask ready but uh so that I don't get stuff in my eyes. So I'm ready to go. Let's see. I think you take and slide this all the way forward. Like that. Oh, okay. This little safety thing right here is so that you can't, you know, so you want to take that off first. Okay, great. parts and then returned it and allowed it to dry. Okay, here we go, here it is. And I have it situated in front of a beautiful photo. Or well it's a painting. We call it the Red Lady. And we put it here under there. Okay, so here's the glass. I ordered it, I measured it out um, with exact measurements to fit the bar cart. So I am now going to open it and see what is inside. I'm very excited. Okay, so here it is. Um, there are two pieces. Um, one piece is going to go on the top, as you can see, and one piece will go on the bottom. Really good. Can't wait to put it on, and I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to, I'm just, I really want this bar cart to be something that is, um, Pinterest worthy, but also something so that my guests, whenever they come over, can enjoy um, whatever I have to serve them in a very fashionable way. So I'm really looking forward to see how it's going to turn out. Okay, is this how it fits? Oh boy. Oh, okay, I see, because it, all right. It fits on top. It fits on top of the rods. Okay, so there's the first part. Hi! Next, I ordered some extras from Amazon. A cut glass decanter, and a beautiful green glass martini shaker. I added those to my bar cart first. Next, you have to have some beverages, so those went on also, along with some really cool water. a bar cart without pretty cocktail napkins and straws and awesome glasses right gotta have some class <laughs> Put those there too this 
is actually a vase, but since the hole on my bar cart is small and I really couldn't find an ice bucket that fits that hole, this little vase would provide just enough ice for drinks or whatever, and if we need to refill it, fine. I even added some tongs, so, and it's pretty. Next, reading material gives your bar cart an intellectual flair. And who knows, your guests just might learn about what they're enjoying. <laughs> Sweets in a pretty jar makes everything so elegant. I've added some Jordan almonds and some Ferrero Rocher chocolates to my cart because those are my favorites. Hopefully they'll be everyone else's too. I love flowers, so I'm gonna add those to my bar cart. These are absolutely beautiful, peonies and hydrangeas. So there you have it. My bar cart is all done, complete with beverages, ice, glasses, and all of the other things that makes it special. I've even added a drink dispenser next to it, filled with lemonade, so that it opens people's options in case they want something else to drink. This bar cart went from being an old, unwanted piece of furniture to an artistic statement that everyone can use and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed watching my DIY and that it encouraged you to do something awesome this summer too. Thanks for watching!